In this chapter, we're going to learn about the warehouse activity monitor. The topics we'll be covering, they are the definition of the warehouse activity monitor. That means what is a warehouse activity monitor and what is the use. And then we'll talk about the running, how to run the reports using the warehouse monitoring. And then we'll also discuss about the activity monitoring monitor objects. So first let us understand what is running warehouse activity monitor, what is that? So basically, uh, for example, if you want to see uh, what are the open uh, transfer requirements in the system that are still like they are lost or they're still waiting to be uh, converted to a transfer order or maybe there's some existing unconfirmed transfer order, they're still waiting to be confirmed, but they were lost. So somebody created some transfer order and they forgot to confirm it. So we want to see what are the pending documents that are still waiting to be processed. So that can be like, they, they can be a unconfirmed transfer order, they can be open transfer requirements, they can be open deliveries, they can be negative stock, they can be stock in the interim storage bins, stuff like that. So we're going to discuss this one. So let me show you this transaction first and then we'll talk more about this transaction. So here if I, here, you can use LL01 transaction or you can go to this menu path uh, under logistics, under logistics execution, and then you have um, internal warehouse processes, not this one, information system, warehouse and LL01, warehouse activity monitor. So if I run this one, so here first you need to select a warehouse number. So here from the filter, you can select one warehouse number so for example for now use 001 for now and if i run it in the next screen it will tell me that what i want to see like i want to see a confirmed unconfirmed transfer order transfer requirement by default everything is ticked so just leave it like that and we we'll execute it for the 001 uh, warehouse number so if i run it this will give me this screen here you can see that in um, there are 11 unconfirmed transfer orders within 001 warehouse number the, we have 10 open transfer requirements and there's nothing no other documents here now here if i open here you can now you can review can jump to those transaction or those uh, transfer order for example that's 11 if you click on this plus sign here it will show you that there are five of them with 501 501 movement and there's six with 101 movement for example if you open the first one with the five of them here you can see some more data that means they're saying that it's the source storage is 902 if you click on plus again it will show you more details the destination store is this so for example if i close this one i can double click on this one and i can jump to those transactions here so that's a list of the pending transfer orders so i can select one transaction i can click on processing info i can click on notes i can click on log for example so they're saying there's no log i can click on processing info it's showing me some more information if i click on notes if i select again click on notes yeah there's no notes here so here if i or I, again if i double click on 2623 to number I can now jump to the TO number and I can play with that. I can confirm it. I can go to different screens, stuff like that. So all you can do is to double click on this, uh, uh, these line items and then you can jump to other, the detail view of those transactions. Same things goes for here. If I go to, if I open the 10 transfer requirements, I can double, there are two uh, transfer requirements, requirements with 312 movement type and there are eight of them with 101 movement type. I can double click on this one again and I can straight away I can jump to this transaction. So here I can you can see these are TR number 256. There are different TR numbers here that are awaiting. So these transfer requirements were created but for some reason they were not processed further and we need to review it like warehouse supervisor they will review what are the pending transaction and they will they will clear it. So here they can again as I said before they can double click on this TR number and you can jump on to this TR transfer requirement screen. So here you can see what is a material, what is a quantity, uh, what is the reference, that's a reference purchase order number and then all the data. So I can go back and display this screen. So here in this screen there are 
if I go back again, you have basically unconfirmed transfer order. There are seven of them. So we'll talk about these seven of them in a minute. <coughs> so let me go through some uh, theory of uh, about this one. So here, so let us understand what is the warehouse activity monitor. So the warehouse activity monitor is a tool for monitoring all the critical objects in the warehouse. This tool helps you to control all the essential objects once they become critical to the warehouse operations. It also informs you of processes that have failed to run or have run with errors and offers you the opportunity to create or correct missing documents in order to complete your processes. Just as, as I said before, you can review the open transfer requirements. You can then convert it to a transfer order. If it's already confirmed, tra con con converted transfer order, then you can further process it by confirming it. So you can complete the process by going through these screens and transactions. For example, you can check all the open orders Open, all the open transfer orders that are not yet confirmed over a time period. You can then review and confirm transfer orders. The time period in is defined in the customizing. So we'll talk about the customizing in the next video later on. But the, the time period we can define that, for example, we want to in this transaction, we can say that when we run this transaction, we want to see anything which is older than say, maybe last four days. or want to see anything which is older than last two days. So we can customize it, this. So we'll talk about the customizing in the next video later on. And there's a transaction or the menu path to see this, uh, to run this transaction, LL01. Now we'll discuss the activity monitor objects. What is activity monitor objects? So like in the screen you have seen, we can run this LL01 transaction for seven different types of um, objects. So first one is unconfirmed transfer orders. So here if I, let me, I'll show you again once I complete the screen. So unconfirmed transfer orders. So you can see, you can, you can see all the pending transfer orders that are still waiting to be confirmed. Then you have other option to see the open transfer requirements. Here we can see the list of all the open transfer requirements that were created by somebody, but still waiting to be converted to a transfer order. Then we can see the open posting chain notice. If there are any open chain, open posting chain notice, like we have seen in the previous videos. Then we can see the open deliveries that's still waiting to be processed. Then we can see that there's, if there's any negative stock in any of the uh, bin. Then we can see if there's a stock in the interim storage stock. If if somebody put the stock in the interim storage and from the last two days or three days it's still not moved, then there's a, there's a question mark. So here we can go and see what's happening, why there's a stock lying in the interim storage storage. Um, bins because as you know interim storage bins are only for the temporary storage just like imaginary storage not as something permanent and then seventh one and the last one is a critical stock for the production supply anything any transaction any open transfer requirements created for the production supply area that also we can see in this one so as i said when you run this ll01 here you can see all the seven objects here you can see here only two but for others you can see that but if i run it for my warehouse what happens is there's some activation you need to do before you run this transaction i'll talk about this activation and the customizing in the next video but for now if i open this ll01 again and for example if i want to run it for the warehouse that we created before ywm if i execute it you can see is saying that for warehouse number YWM, there is no activity monitor object. That means it's not customized. So in the next video, I'll show you how to customize it and what are the different options for customizing. But for now, I'll if I run it for 001 again, and here if I, for example, if I unselect all others, and I can say, I just want to see the, I can unselect them and I can select the first one. I can see, I just want to see the unconfirmed transfer order. Here also you can further filter, for example, you can filter by movement type. I can say, I just want to see only movement type 101. Or I can also filter by source storage type that when this is a source source type or the destination storage type, stuff like that. So here if I run it, 
for example it will show me only one screen which is i think i selected the negative stock somewhere yeah here is a select selected so if i run it now here i can see only the unconfirmed transfer order because i selected 101 movement type that's why it's showing you only the filter for 101 if i go back here if i remove this 101 and run it again here you can see there are total 11 if i open them then you can see further for 101 there are six for 501 movement type there are five uh, unconfirmed transfer orders so same way i can go back if i run this transaction again ls01 run again by default is selecting all the check boxes again for every check box for example for open transfer requirement again you can filter it again you can filter it for the posting chain document again you can filter for the negative stock storage type you can filter for storage type here also you can filter for storage type for interim storage type here also you can filter for the critical stock in production so if i say run it just for everything for example here you can see only the first and the second one showing some documents not others because there's some customizing setting missing missing and some activation is not done yet so as i said i'll talk about the activation later on but there are two ways we can activate it either we can activate it via the background job that i'll talk later on in the other video but here you can also manually activate it from here so here if i select this one and go to uh, and go to edit and here determines data again or press shift f plus f5 if i do it for if, if i put my cursor here for open posting chain notice and then i refresh it so it will then refresh the data if I refresh it you can see now there are five here it was zero before that means that means it was not activated so for some company they just want to see maybe first two and they don't want to see the others so depending on what they want to see we can activate it and then they will be able to see here and that will also improve the system performance so we'll talk about in more detail about activation later on for example if i put the cursor again on critical deliveries then again in your, if you're trying it in your system if you see 000 then just follow this process you will be able to activate it so this activation means this is also refreshing the data there's no data here if i select the second last second last edit yes there are eight of them i can open it so stuff like that so you can like that you can activate it for all of them so last one if i say determine data again say yes you can see there's seven now i can open it and see what's pending in the production supply so there's storage type 100 as you know the production supply area there's some documents sitting here so we can review whatever the documents sitting here so they these are the these are the objects so as i said there are seven objects we can customize that will talk in the next video that we can customize that for each warehouse number we can customize that what object we want to see and what object we don't want to see so we'll talk this one later on so that's all about this video so just a recap so in this video we learned about the what is the warehouse activity monitor we also have seen that how we can run the ll01 transaction report to see the different objects and we also learned about the seven monitoring objects available in standard system so that so for assignment so just run ll01 in your system and if you see the zero uh, documents then just activate it as as I shown before uh, refresh it uh, and go to the different screen and views by double, double clicking on each uh, line item so that's all for this video and thank you again to watch this video